Hello, welcome to the Code Beginners. This is our next video in which I, we are going to learn CSS in a very short amount of time. In our previous video, we have learned HTML in less than 13 minutes and in this video, we are going to take the same HTML file as an example and we're going to apply CSS on that. So let's take a look on that example that we have done in the previous video. So yeah, that is basically our web page. So you can see that this web page is simple. There is nothing in it. There is, I mean, there is no design in that. So we can design that page manually. I can, I mean, we can change the position of the header. We can change the color of the background of the header. Even we can change the color of the whole body. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can play with each and every single element manually. So let's see how can we do that. First of all, you need to do that. You need to connect your CSS file with your HTML file. So first you need to create a new file. So press Ctrl N and uh, save that file in the same folder as all files and let's name it style dot css so that is basically our css file now we saved it so now uh, open your index.html file that uh, in which we have our web page so we are gonna link that file uh, using link tag and uh, that is basically a self-closing tag same like the image tag so rel basically defines a relation and telling the browser that this is our style sheet okay so the next is basically uh, you know rel we have done we are done with rel so next is type exactly type so type is basically text slash css and the next is basically href that defines the exact path of the file our file is in the same folder so we will just type the name of our file so now our file is basically css file is connected to our html file whatever we will write here will directly have an impact on our this web page okay so what we can do with css we can make changes uh, in all these web pages uh, with basically with two methods and combinedly if we see that we can do in it in four ways so what are those four ways number one we can select each selector one by one i mean if this is h1 i will select h1 and make changes in its properties and uh, h2 similarly and similarly h3 and similarly the paragraph and all other stuff so if i want to make same changes in more than one or two lights likewise i can say that i want to make changes in these three headers so what i will do i will uh, select all these three headers as selectors and i'll make change in their properties so let's do it there is no difference in that so let's say i want to make changes in the paragraph so what i will do let's say i want a background color background color of red red but red is not a you know it is not that effective so for that i will just search for the hex codes you can find it on the internet hex codes yes hex code colors so there you are so let's say red is basically hash ff tetra zero so what i will write here hash ff tetra zero and that is basically our paragraph so let's save this and let's see what we have done with our uh sorry refresh this yes you can see that the background of our paragraph has been colored well so now let's come to our these three paragraphs let's say i want to select these three headers combine so now what i will do i will just go to the style and uh, i'll write here let's say h1 h2 
H3. I'll select them combined and now let's say I want them to be centered so I'll just text hyphen and align center don't forget to put the semicolon at the end of each line because it is necessary it will end it it tells you that the line has been terminated okay so now on the next line what I will write let's say I want a background color to be background color to be let's say a uh, some hex codes uh, hash zero 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 let's say hash zero zero ff zero zero okay so put the semicolon on just save this now go to the file go to the browser just refresh this there you go the all the headers are now aligned in centered and the background color of the headers also been changed so doing these things you can do this stuff with all the elements no matter what but you can do it in another way that is using IDs and classes you know you can use IDs and classes in your a CSS file just like just remove this just say that I want to do the same thing with you know paragraph and header what I will do I'll just go to the HTML file okay so in the HTML file what I will do that I will give it an ID of let's say uh, paragraph para let's say para okay so and I want to do the same thing with these three headers so in that case what I will do I will use class remember that ID is basically used for a single command or you can say for a single element or a single selector I mean ID is unique but class is not class is not unique so you can use class to the and you can apply the class to the multiple elements like this just write here class is equal to let's say I give it a header okay name header all right so just copy paste to save the time all right so in header 2 I what I will do just copy paste just give the same name to the class just save this and uh, let me refresh the page first so that uh, you don't have any confusion in your mind so just refresh this it is back to its you know early position so now what we'll do we will type in the style sheet file basically what we want to do that uh, para yes para that is our ID so using your ID you can use that something like this with a hash you can say hashtag you can use your ID in that manner so let's say I want a background color to be hash f f zero 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 okay so just save this alright so if we come here and if we refresh there you go you have the same same impact with your ID and uh, you have done that uh, with selector as well so there must be no confusion that you can do it with the same ID same class or using the selectors but when you go on to the big projects likewise on the big uh, you know websites then you uh, must use these IDs and classes in order to avoid and uh, avoid that time you know the cost of the time so in that way you will spend much less time using those class and IDs so I hope the concept is clear but uh, on the short web pages or on the short projects you can just simply select the selectors and you can just simply and uh, do that and get your work done okay so now let's come to the class how will you use class you can use class by simply putting a dot and then writing the class name in our case that is basically header I think yes header uh, let me check that 
uh, yes that is header so what we will do that I'll write here text align let's say center put the semicolon on let's say background color let's say this time I want something more I mean I want a green color just write green okay so just save this just come back here just refresh this there you go you have this this thing here right here all right so we got to see that why our third header has not worked accordingly so we'll see that yes there is the problem so h3 space save this and just refresh this there you go you have the required output so you have learned basically the css and uh, the html combinedly in approximately you know a very short amount of time so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching